Welcome to 3D Flow Academy. This video tutorial is dedicated to the advanced volume computation capabilities available in 3DF Zephyr Pro and 3DF Zephyr Aerial. As you probably already know, in 3DF Zephyr you can perform measurements such as distances, angles, areas and volumes. While the aforementioned tools are pretty straightforward and require only a few clicks, other advanced tools are not as intuitive and require additional explanation. Please note how this video tutorial is dedicated to 3DF Zephyr Pro and 3DF Zephyr Aerial only. Volume from Selection Areas and volumes can be selectively computed on target elements. Simply use the selection tools in the Editing tab to select the desired points or triangles and then pick Selection in the appropriate combo box. Note how there isn't a reference plane when using this feature. Volume with projection The volume with projection tool has been developed with mining and excavation as its field of use. This tool will forcefully take every vertex and project it towards the defined plane. This method is much better than the volume from selection when dealing with mining scenarios, as you can define the desired plane. 3DF Zephyr Aerial can also leverage an additional feature. Since you can define drawing elements, via control points, by direct 3D drawing, or by importing them from an external software, you can check the Define Contours option, so that you can limit the desired projection only from the selected drawing element. The Define Contours feature also works with the Area and Classic Volume tools. Volume Comparison Both 3DF Zephyr Pro and 3DF Zephyr Aerial offer a tool to quickly compare two elements, mesh or point clouds, so that you can easily and visually evaluate the differences between said elements. This tool can be found in Tools, Registration, Point Cloud Comparison. Simply select the two desired subjects, reference and model. An easy to use interface will allow you to select the desired parameters. Simply click Compute Residuals to show the computed histogram. Note that you can move the window to inspect the results visually. You can also define the minimum and maximum residual values and select only the points in the desired range. Hollow Volume The hollow volume function has been developed for those cases where the volume of interest is in a hollow subject, for example a room or a tunnel. If your subject falls in these categories, then you may want to use the hollow volume computation for the correct inner volume value. Note the artifacts due to the lack of points. This is especially visible in laser scans due to their shadow areas. Always be careful when scanning to remove all possible clutter from your scene for best results. Thank you for watching and don't forget to join our 3D Flow Academy Facebook group to vote for the next video tutorial.